What's up guys, Adam Rose with here. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over Instagram reporting and optimization. So basically what to look at with the numbers within Facebook for your Instagram ads, what numbers you should be looking at to change an ad, uh, how do you know if an ad is working, how do you know if an ad is about to reach ad fatigue, what is ad fatigue, right? So we're gonna go over all of that in today's video. All right, guys, so we are in Facebook Ads Manager. Uh, if you haven't set up your Ads Manager for Instagram ads, I created a, a complete guide to Instagram advertising. That is in the first video, setting up your Instagram ad account. Uh, we've went over um, Facebook objectives for your Instagram ads. We went over audiences and targeting, creating your first ad. And in today's video, again, reporting and optimization. So what you're looking at here are four different ads. We've, we've done four different objectives. And so I'm going to show you what objectives and basically what to look at uh, to know your ad is, is successful here. So uh, you can see here on the top, we uh, did a messaging ad. So messages were the objective for the ad. Basically, what I wanted to do here it was grow my messenger list on mini chat so i want as many subscribers as possible and essentially all i'm doing is showing them a youtube ad uh, and i'm sending that through uh, mini chat through facebook messenger and, and taking them through a bot sequence so that i can segment them segment my list so that i know who i'm sending messages to and in this i actually was acquiring leads so i i sent them to a landing page i got their name and their email and then on the next page uh, was a sales letter essentially and then this was essentially just a video of a Facebook messenger bot so that they can see exactly what it is and they can go through the whole video I believe it was around a minute long uh, which is optimal for video views so that was the objective there and then the objective here was just to get page likes so um, that's something that I usually don't recommend unless you have a brand new Facebook page and you don't want to look like it's a ghost town, right? So uh, essentially allows you to get a lot of likes on your page so that you don't look like a brand new page. Um, and we can do that for really cheap. We did that for $17 here. So what I want to do is go over the first three because those are going to be the majority of what you guys will be doing. So we're going to choose all three campaigns. And this is what I recommend doing all the time to look at your reporting and optimization for your ads. Click on the campaign that you want to look at all the ads for, and then just go straight to the ad set level. And then from here, for most of the campaign objectives like traffic, um, lead generation, uh, conversions, um, most of those objectives, you want to go over here to columns and click on performance and clicks. And that will give you the majority of the metrics that you'll want to look at. For video views, you obviously want to look at view time and all that jazz, so you'll click here and go to video engagement. So we'll go over that one first. So I believe this one was video views, right? So video views, and you can see here, right? So how many three second video views we got? We got 508. Cost per video view was about uh, four cents. Cost per 10 seconds was 11 cents. Um, and then you can see here how many people went through 50% of the video, 75%, 95%, and 100%. What's cool is you can, uh, in previous videos we went over this a little bit, but you can uh, basically create a custom audience from people who watch 50% or more of your video and retarget them to another ad. So it's a cheap way of getting a, a larger audience. So this actually didn't do that great, um, you know, Sorry, I messed that up. Um, this didn't do all that great. You're looking at four cent video view for a three second video. Uh, excuse me, four, four cents per three second video. You want that around one cent. And then for a 10 second video view, uh, I would take three cents would be a really good metric there. Uh, but really, it's, it just comes down to your audience and testing a lot, right? Because this could be really good numbers for uh, another audience, right? So with that, we're going to go back to performance and clicks and measure the top two. So with this one, we're just doing $10 a day with a nationwide audience. 
um, which is really inexpensive. Like that's low man on the totem pole. Most people are doing at least in the hundreds per day, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands per day, right? So super low budget here. Uh, I really just wanted to test it out, see what that looked like to gain subscribers in our mini chat account for this Facebook Messenger. Um, but you can see here it did really well, right? Relevancy score was a 10. Uh, relevancy score is basically 1 to 10. You can hover over these to see what that means, right? It's a rating 1 to 10 that estimates how well your target audience is responding to your ad. And you can hover over all of these, right? Hunt impressions is the number of times that your ads were on a screen. CPM is cost per 1,000 impressions. Link clicks, obviously link clicks. So uh, numbers that I look at first would be uh, click-through rate. So the amount of people who saw your ad and clicked on it. So if we saw, if 100 people saw your ad, uh, how many people clicked on it? In this case, it's 1.72, which is not that great. Um, you want around 3%, I would say, is a good click-through rate. Um, but with that said, uh, we're still getting really good numbers in terms of cost per lead, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, but click-through rate, you want around 3% as a good click-through rate. If you are in real estate or mortgage and you're promoting listings, this has to be 5% or more, oftentimes uh, upwards of 10% um, to get really good numbers, right? Um, so 5% for click-through rate in real estate. Um, you want your cost per click to be under a dollar, which we are, which is pretty good. Um, cost per click can even get as low as 25 cents to be a really, really, really good ad. Um, so those are the numbers there. So 3% typically for nationwide audience, uh, under a dollar is pretty good. Um, cost per 1,000 impressions, if we're doing uh, anywhere under $20 CPM uh, for a nationwide audience, that's pretty good. Right around 15 means you're doing really good. Um, and then from there, the metric that most people are going to look at is cost per result. So cost per lead, cost per message sent, whatever that is, right? Um, cost per lead, uh, under $5, you're doing really good, especially for a nationwide audience. Uh, for a lead magnet like this, around $2 for a lead magnet is doing really well. Uh, for webinar type funnels or like VSLs, so video sales letters, uh, if you're doing $10 or less, you're doing really, really well as well. And then the last thing you'll want to see is the frequency. So frequency is basically how many times uh, one person is seeing your ad. So you can see here uh, in this audience, people are viewing this ad 1.15 uh, times, right? So if this goes to in a seven day period, if this goes above, um, yeah, if you're above 1.5, you're probably looking at uh, changing the ad because you're going to get ad fatigue which essentially ad fatigue is, is people are seeing your ad too many times and they're passing on it anyway, right? So uh, they're passing on it, they're not becoming a lead and then you're just, you're charged based on those impressions and your cost per lead is just gonna skyrocket from there. I basically look at a seven day period of frequency. So if you go up here, you can do a timeline. So click on this and then you can do uh, seven days and see what that frequency looks like, right? So we're at 1.14, that's okay with me. Uh, all these numbers within the past seven days look pretty good. Um, and the reason the click-through rate here isn't a huge deal is because our conversion rate is really, really high. So we've gotten 44 link clicks and we have gotten, um, I believe, 22. So we're at 50% um, people who have actually clicked on it and went through that, right? So a 50% conversion rate, that is really, really good. If we were at say 25%, then you'd look at 11 out of 44. So let's look at what those numbers would be. So 40, let's call it $43 divided by 11. Our cost per lead would be $3.09, or excuse me, $3.90. So even then, that's really not terrible, but that's obviously double our cost per lead. Um, so those are just some numbers you really want to look at, right? So if your conversion metric, if you're if you're doing a landing page, you're right around 20 to 30 percent is a decent uh, 
conversion rate for opt-ins. Um, so if you got, you know, 100 link clicks here, you're going to get 20 to 30 opt-ins. And then it just depends on how much your link click is. If your link click cost per click is right around a dollar, you know, you can estimate, you know, you're going to spend about 100 bucks per 100 clicks. And then you can, you can kind of do the math there, 20 to 30 opt-ins for $100. Um, so those are just numbers that you need to look at. Um, and then from there, you can make judgments based on those numbers, right? So for this, we're going to keep this going because our frequency isn't too high. Um, our, our conversion rate is awesome. Our audience uh, is apparently responding to this. And so we're going to keep it going um, and just see what that looks like. I monitor this every day, so I can kind of see uh, what that looks like. So if you want to go here, click on this guy, click on today, and then just see what your numbers are, right? So our cost per result is 85 cents today. We've gotten three clicks, so it looks like we've gotten two people into that. Um, and those are just some things that you want to look at, right? So our CPM today is looking really good. Um, and you just want to monitor that on an everyday basis. If we go to yesterday, that's going to look different, right? So we've got $3.32, so it looks like three people opted in. Uh, we still have a relevancy score for yesterday. CPM was 16. Click-through rate was horrible, but everything else looks good. So you just need to monitor those things. Um, at the end of the day, if you're getting a really good cost per result, uh, not much else matters, right? So... Um, a lot of these metrics you can look at and say, man, that looks horrible. If I didn't see anything else, I would probably want to change it. But because I know that uh, my conversion rate is at 50%, we got seven people that clicked, three people that opted in, uh, our numbers are going to be looking pretty good. And if, at the end of the day, if I can spend 300 bucks every single month and get 75 to 100 opt-ins to my messenger list, then I know I'm going to be super profitable because $300 a month is pretty much nothing. Uh, I can convert one of those. If I'm just converting at 1%, then I'm profitable. So um, those are the metrics that you guys should be looking at for your Instagram advertising. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see future videos. I do a video every single day at 1 p.m. Central. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.